Okay, so guys, experts are warning you. You need to be careful where you carry your cell phone. Keeping it in your pants pocket could actually seriously affect your fertility. This is frightening. Joining us now, Fox 5 medical contributor, Dr. Debbie Nampia Parampol. All right, and if it's winter, maybe I have it in my coat pocket, but the rest of the year, it's in your right, pants in my, pocket. Of course, it's wow. in my yeah. jeans so pocket. Every, exactly. Oh, Most people that, yeah. do, right? Most men keep it in their jeans pocket. But the danger is that it might actually heat up your sperm. So the thing is, a cell phone is not necessarily that hot, but it's warm enough that it could affect the sperm. So the problem is, if you're trying to get pregnant, right, the sperm has to reach the egg, and there are two things that can be affected. First, some of them can die off so that they don't function anymore. And the second thing is that they have to be able to swim. So they lose some of their motility. They mm -hmm. lose their ability to swim as well. And they've seen this in a lot of different research. It's actually shown to be maybe 10% of a decrease compared to people who don't use cell phones. But this study is a little bit more dramatic because it actually showed that 47% of men might have this problem as compared to 11% of people in a general population. It's huge. Are we, so, so we're talking about the heat generated by the phone as opposed to just electromagnetic currency and stuff like that. Well, that's the other theory, that maybe that could be another factor. But the heat is probably what's more likely to cause the problem. I mean, this study actually looked at people who kept their cell phone by their bed too and sh saw that they might have some problems too. So in that case it wouldn't be the heat or the radiation but the issue might be that people who have these habits where they're always using their cell phone maybe they have other behaviors that also affect their fertility, right? Like maybe they don't sleep properly, maybe they're workaholics and a little more stressed. So it's a little bit hard uh, to yeah. tease out all the separate effects but but there's definitely research that the heat matters. So let me just ask you this really quickly. That just really threw a monkey wrench in there. But um, is this long-term effects or short-term effects? Because it really wouldn't make sense if it was long-term. Yeah, so they're looking at short-term. At least they're putting together these different studies that have been done in the past. And those are harder to tell because you're just looking at one moment in time. So you don't know if the person recovers as they make more right. sperm, That's right? That's my point. Guys, yeah. may, it's not like eggs and women. Exactly. So, so you're right. But then the thing is, like, this is relatively new research over the past couple of years that people are finding is so we don't know for sure if those same men recovered afterwards right frightening, right. frightening. either way all right that's yeah. something to think and about and computers sure. too laptops because a lot of people Put tend right to their laptops lap, right? yeah. yeah i'm guilty of i was about to say <laughs> ding ding ding, ding. Yes. i hope mean, you're hearing this, this is no bueno you better all right be how about this this is a big joke too with me and my wife the new paleo diet getting bashed for some researchers who say instead of helping you lose weight you wind up packing on the pounds what we do is we make these silly paleo cookies She's like oh we joke about eating like cavemen then we eat the whole tray of paleo cookies <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think a lot of people are doing, right? They can be high right? in fat, too. Yeah. Good. Yeah, so they're low in carbs. They can be high in fat because of the oils mm -hmm. and the nuts. Now, generally, these are healthy fats. I mean, the idea behind the paleo diet is that you're trying to go back to cavemen time, kind of, right? So you're right. avoiding the processed foods and the things that we know are dangerous. I mean, the World Health Organization came out with a report just a few months ago, right, that processed foods can be cancer-causing and dangerous. The problem is probably that we don't have one perfect diet. So in this study, this was looking at mice, not at humans, mm -hmm. but they found that the mice who stuck with a paleo diet for two months actually gained more weight, about 15% more weight. 15% which yeah. is a ton, yeah. Exactly. I mean, but to be fair, it's an animal study, so it's hard to know, you mm. know, about all the other effects, like how many calories were they taking in, how much exercise were they doing. I mean, these are the things that we look at for humans, right? Yeah. And then on top of that, I mean, there's a lot of research in humans now that their gut bacteria make a difference. So oh, like, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Like for fuel efficiency, right? Depending on the type of car you have, the gas will carry you further, sure. you know, in terms of miles. So the same way, depending Depending on the amount of calories in the food, different people with different bacteria can actually extract a different amount of calories from that food. So you just got to be change. careful going overboard, which is the temptation. Well, we say, oh, this is paleo, and then well, you have too and, much and of it. And that's the very premise with the caveman. He was always hunting and searching for food. They didn't have food in the refrigerator yeah. and stuff. Exactly. So, you know, you were probably overeating in the first place anyway. They couldn't Netflix sure. and chill exactly. in the cave. Exactly, right, and run to the refrigerator. Cookies. And we exactly. have a better life expectancy, too, than the cavemen, right? Yes, so. absolutely. They were constantly <laughs> on the run. Something right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Lots Thank to think you. about there. Boy, I'm scared about the cell phone one, too. Thank you, Dr. Deb. We appreciate it.